Hello spooky people, it's Lilith and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a whimsical day. Today I will be sharing with you how I created my vintage inspired clown costume from thrifted and inexpensive materials. I started with this bustier thrifted for $3. With a cream color, I'm filling in these two front panels. These hearts didn't really go with my design, but it's a pretty easy fix. It took two coats of acrylic paint to completely cover the pattern. This is what I had on hand, so that's what I used, but you can use fabric paint, of course. I'm then taking a very light sort of blush shade of pink and covering these ribbons in the front. This will end up matching the shoes that I had thrifted. I'm doing the same thing to these ribbons that will tie it in the front. I thrifted these curtains for $8. They'll just be used as fabric for our collar. I decided I wanted my clown collar to be nine inches out. You can change this measurement, of course, though, if you'd like a bigger or a smaller collar. I marked this down the length of the fabric using a side that already had a finished seam, so I won't have to finish it later. I then take this rotary tool and cut down the length. This is the first time I'd used this tool, and it probably saved me hours worth of cutting fabric. So handy. I create a guideline for myself by marking down the fabric every two inches. This makes it easier for me to place the pleats. I'm ironing these in an accordion fold, so they'll be going one way, then the other, back and forth down the entire length of the fabric. Having a ruler is definitely helpful. I did switch to a longer one after this. I created two pieces this way, each about 98 inches, and sewed them in the middle, making sure to keep the pattern of the pleats. I also fold down and sew down each end to finish them off. I use this cardboard tube to create support. Do this by cutting a line down the middle and then rounding off each edge so that it won't hurt my neck. I then painted it with acrylic paint, using a couple coats so it would be completely opaque. Around one of the top edges, I used a hammer and nails to create these holes. I would recommend making these holes bigger than I did as I needed to make them bigger later on. I take a piece of wire and push it through the hole to create a support for the pleats. This will help them stick up as straight as possible. I repeat this process with the rest of the holes. Then I hot glue all of them in place. This was kind of a tricky process, but it became easier over time. Then I distribute all of the pleats evenly across the wires. Some of these have two and some of them have three pleats on one wire. I basically was trying to evenly distribute it so it was even on both sides and then stack more of the pleats in the front, making it look more full and dramatic there. I'm then tacking these in place with a couple of stitches. I kept these fairly close to the base of the pleat, you'll see why later. I 
This is how I fixed the holes being too small. I just took an awl and stretched them a little bit wider. To connect the pleats to the base, I ran a thread through the base, back through that hole, then through one of the connected pleats, and back again through the base. Making sure to make this pretty tight so that it's well connected there and there's no gap. Make sure to use a really strong thread for this. If you end up using a pair of tweezers to help you like I did, just please be careful to not either hurt yourself or break your needle. I tie a knot really close to the base to make sure that it stays tight. This step is optional, but I feel like it makes the next step a little bit easier. I'm just taking some PVA school glue and sticking down all of the loose threads just to make them a little bit more flush with the base. To finish off the inside, I used this velvet ribbon. Any fabric will really do, I just thought this looked kind of nice. I'm taking this and hot gluing it around the inside, trying to cover as much as I can. Then to just finish off that top edge and hide a little bit of the black, I take some acrylic paint and cover up any rough spots where the paint might have chipped off on the base. And as an added bonus, my awesome partner made this backdrop for our pictures. It's super simple, it's just a piece of cardboard painted with acrylic paint. And here is the finished outfit! I'm really happy with the way this project turned out. It turned out exactly how I wanted it to. I had a lot of different inspirations, especially uh, vintage photography and lots of different Harley Quinn clowns. I really loved these shoes. They gave me a sort of showgirl vibe that ended up inspiring the color scheme. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, go ahead and leave a like. If you'd like to see more eccentric tutorials, maybe even consider subscribing. If you want to see even more spooky fashion, consider following me on Instagram or TikTok at dark with a Q instead of a K underscore devotion. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.